I'm going to do exactly what battle rap fans expect, what they want to see. Boring. Try and people bring expect that. you to be boring, bro. People expect me to be boring. You say that, and if you make that mistake, that exact same mistake again that everyone else does, come into the match, come into the title match, calling me boring, and, get, say you're and boring then get I'll out now, entertained by me, which well, is I'm what's too, bro, been I'm happening. Too creative. You think I'm gonna call and you it happened boring. last time I'm as well. You you ginger, came, you and came. I'm not going to call you boring. The two main things okay. I think I'll say about you. I'm not going to say them, bro, because I'm too creative for you, bro. Watch the levels. Battle, UK Battle Rap, watch the levels that I'm going to set against this guy. Different levels, bro. Tell me why you think you're going to beat me. I think I'm a better writer than you. I think I have more variety in my style than you. I think I do more different things in a battle. I think you kind of do these quick fire punches, um, very quick setup. It kind of, yeah, you've got a certain structure you use, and I dip in and out of that and bring different flavors, comedy bars, and just gonna float you think through you're it. More versatile than me. Hundred percent. Let's say you lose. What what what's next for you? I'm not gonna answer that right now. You haven't got an answer. So, Quo, if you win, who do you want next year? Bro, I want Gemini. Let's go. Gemini for the title. Let's fucking go, bro. I'm not joking around, yeah? You want to do this comeback thing? I saw you tonight, yeah? Let's go, bro. No, you want to call my name? He's my brethren, so it's nothing like that, yeah? Do you know what I'm saying? I love you, Gem. Let's go. But as a, like I said, I'm trying to create artwork now, yeah? You're one of the best in the UK, undefeated. I'm telling you, I am I'm different levels now. Right, let's fucking go. Don't flop. Title. Gemini. Let's fucking go. Don't call my name and then fuck out of this one. Well, there's one roadblock before that, but good luck, man. It's going to be a good battle. You know what? Love, love, love. Big up, big up, don't flop. Talk. This is the annual title match. Oh my god, I can't wait. Bristol, make some noise! Third, I think this is the third title match in Bristol. Oh my days, I can't believe it. I love coming down to the city. This is the, in UK Battle Rap, the Dome Vlog title, this is as real as it gets. And these are two absolute fucking soldiers. I cannot wait for this clash. I've been hyped for this since we set it up a few months back. Let's get straight into it. Thank you to the fans, thank you to everyone on the socials. Big up the Patreon subscribers as well. MC on my left hand side, being introduced first. He is the challenger. He's a creative mind in UK Battle Rap. From North London, we got Quill, make some noise! Yeah. Yeah. Right, on, on my right hand side, defending his title, mm -hmm. the Make some fucking noise for Crafty! Yeah. It's a crazy story. Craft's been in Dome Floor for about seven, eight years. Quill, this is his 10th official year in the company. He's built his way up to the title shot. It's all gone to this moment for both of these MCs. It's going to be legendary. Craft won the flip off camera. He chose Quill to go first. It's Dome Floor title match 2022. Oh my god, Quill, it's good. Okay. He teaches children with disadvantages how to rap. And now they're even disadvantaged with that. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound like your tongue is flat every time that you spat? Say it's not. <laughs> Say it's not. Crock of shit, man. I got a quiz. Why does it sound like that? I mean, it's not a list, but well, I ain't positive. Look, I don't know what it is, but his students have a speech impediment when their course done. Of course, I have the front to crease when craft a trainer like Air Force One. But in the fact that he beat me, I had to take a look at myself. In the mirror, <laughs> trying to find that desire. My eyes are looking at my reflection like, Quill, why can't you find that desire prior, man? You should have proved you can at least your boots. Instead, you turned up in some designer sliders. Smash, now there's smoke in the mirror, and I'm not a firefighter. Damn, why am I beating myself up over this continuation? Like, liar, liar, boy, you took a round off me. Let's go! Boy, you took a round off me. Now I want it back, I wasn't hungry. Yeah, you were properly brag. I had a lot on my plate. Now I'm bringing it back home like a doggy bag. That loss was a pain in my back. It kept me up at night. You be thinking I'll be sleeping on a bed of long nails. But now I came through his home. Just to kill him, it's like I'm treading on snails In case you cannot tell I am still really hurt, champ <laughs> <laughs> I can't let that one old fly like Dennis Burkamp Maybe it's <laughs> Maybe it's force of 9-11 trying to rematch me now Cause you thought it was one craft But there's a second time where it really comes crashing down <laughs> But there's a second time where it really comes crashing down Ashing clouds, manic crowds, panic sounds You need to step back, sir Only fire man allowed This is <laughs> I- <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! Only fight a man allowed. This is Ivan.
Ivan Drago's wing entrance Coming up from the raised ground Planes around fireworks <laughs> Glitter rains down He's Apollo Creed Coming out to James Brown Living in America yeah. That same sound entertain the crowd I come to your backyard This is your playground Ding, ding Oh, we survived one round with you so we're getting brave now, telling not to throw in that bloodstained towel But now you're getting laid out, face down, in that same round Oh, because of that exhibition, you thought injuries would be minimised Top the movie, guys, here's where the difference lies I don't have to question if he dies This is for every time you get the score like a baby Shooting stars, I'm going all out to for now Using heart, this is not Top Gun I am not cruising craft, I've helped pave the way You never got to choose your path, you just follow who's in charge Like you open Ivan Ooze's jar Where I am not Where I am going Going to war, we can get Spielberg to direct the next movie part, it's D-Day. And before you get to the coast, the army's got casualties. Exposed, hearts, spleens, got soldiers. Picking up a blown off arm piece, explosions. Blood flowing through open arteries. Wanna go to war and crafty? Get loaded a march, please. But I just came to coast on craft. But it's more like Tom Hanks going to Omaha Beach when. I will send you to sleep like a hypnotist Watch me swing your left and right Until they tell me to snap him out of it Then you're back in the room But until then, you're gonna be dreaming about things that ain't actually true Like how you add value to the title When in reality, it's the title that's been adding value to you I am the big dog we are not the same breed up in the yard You need to hush puppy You have a squeaky little bark I'll let you keep up on my arm Are you blind dog? Can you not see that we are leagues apart? And I say that with chest I am speaking from the heart Let's go <laughs> Let's go <laughs>
for my title, cause he cancelled yours. I thought your contract said you'd be champ for sure. Oh, this cat kept backing down, makes sense they'd retract the clause. This Neanderthal. <laughs> This Neanderthal turned all right. So when they forget what his name is, it's ironic when his pronouns turn to a them or a they did. Think Umbrella Academy, Reginald's family. A gender can change quick. When I come out again as Victor like Elliot Page did. See, I <laughs> This scene needs people like me to counter the balance of ego freaks with bigger fucking mouths and their talent. They call me uninspiring. I draw a crowd with a passion. They call me unentertaining. I get louder reaction. There were doubts about Tommy and there were doubts about Adam. I beat the two best here. I was crowned as the champion. Take my title and my city. I won't allow it to happen. I've been showing them the throne prequel. You're in the house of the dragons. <laughs> Those who get ahead of themselves never do well. You don't deserve this shot. You won't get a new belt. You named yourself Quill. It's a message you spell. You skip the cues. So you and I, it ends in two L's. One texted her uh, on behalf of Press One. <laughs> <laughs> when he had the footage for the battle and was told he would leak it. Press One would go online, throw a tantrum and tweet shit, and bro, I have seen it. You was texting her uh, that please, he didn't mean it. Let's just forget everything that happened this past weekend. Now, when you ring her, uh, you get through to the don't flop switchboard. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you guys, when he's mid-tier battlers, it's a really big problem. <laughs> to be a secretary for your friend, press one. <laughs> for you should have <laughs> For you should have held out for all other options, but you press the issue even though press the issue. And now press one's ventriloquist is crafty. Sat up and cross knee, his arm reach deep up his ass cheeks. Communicating for him, cause he can't speak. Oh my days, it's sooty and cross sweet. Mm. <laughs> cross and neek. <laughs> I know, that's why his title is in a safe place. Protected by the MI5 agency, in a display case, bulletproof, triple glazing screen, there's a voice activation. <laughs> that will raise the screen for the ginger hair scan. A fingerprint tracing scheme, then it's onto the Mission Impossible laser beams <laughs> Dodging darts that spray through steam The last room is the Squid Game store And when it turns you better stay and free <laughs> <laughs> Then there it is <laughs> <laughs> On a pillar from ancient Greece you go to grab it and <gasps> The whole room fills up with gas and You need to hold your breath Until it's safe to breathe I ain't going through that don't make me crease tonight, Danny Pandolfi. You are gonna hand me that trophy. You didn't even earn your shot. Saying Ur gave the dog a bone isn't far fetched. Now you got a target on your head, cause since then it crashed on me like a car wreck. Now when we talk positive about the title, it's Premier Battles or the past tense. I'm so numb to it now, I am past tense. Making people lose interest is cross. I'm so numb to it now, I am past tense. Making people lose interest is cross strength. Now his name is just chilling on dead wood like a memorial park bench. You made it look. <laughs> That's a memorial park bench, you made it look harder than it looks like Fabian Bartes, boy you can check <laughs> Boy you can check the data on craft like Star Trek Ain't nobody in the UK can say they've had their rounds skip more than you can Everybody watched Tommy Villis's first, then they skipped a second round on you, nan <laughs> I didn't even know you won the title till Shuffle was battling you, fam Have you seen YouTube has a new feature now Where it shows you the most replayed part And his battles is where his opponents end where he, his round ends and then his opponents fuck that one, but anyway yeah. You never really want a title meant But he needs the title for the entitlement He has to hold it and keep it boring This man is corny, that's why he only battles when it's mandatory It's the only time he gets the big name opponents he reaches From the mid-tier, where he hopelessly squeezes He tries to hold on, it's shameless But he openly leeches And now we like Mona Lisa, just known for the features But he ain't the one painting those strokes of Jesus Now we like... And now he's like Mona Lisa, just known for the features, but he ain't the one painting no strokes as genius. Soon it'll be over and you'll be on press one shoulder in pieces and he'll be like, Danny, it's cool. I recorded it all on my phone as a secret. Fuck those blood as I don't to release it. <laughs> To be a secretary. Fuck. Uh, Press one said, you know he don't mean it. Plus, I've been told he didn't mean it. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, mm. you the number.
number one contender. You ain't even top three. You call me the park bench boy. It was your mistake sleeping on me. <laughs> you got the deadest slogan in battle rap. And I'm feeling hella strong. I ain't going anywhere. Oh, put the cap on. Firstly, that's the most middle class English slogan that ever was. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, that's the most middle class English slogan that ever was. What else is in this artist rider? Tea cakes and lemon scones? <laughs> has Ur has Ur ever made you tea? <laughs> that ain't something that I'm betting on. You've been repeating it for all these years, now your career is dead and gone, so I ain't going anywhere. Right, that bit was never wrong. <laughs> You still trying to chase a big rep? Still waiting for that big check? Still waiting for that kettle? I guess it hasn't clicked yet. See, last time, last time we battled, you just came down for the check. And you were proud of that mess. Not a doubt or regret. Because instead of admitting you drowned because you floundered your prep, you pulled the wettest move possible, told the crowd they were dead. Not an ounce of respect for paying customers coming out to events out of your depth. But claims his bars are growing in the fandom. And every time he left the city, nobody gassed him. You're like a little child throwing a tantrum that's accentuated when you can't provoke a reaction. If you saw my first battle with Quill, raise your hand. Keep your hand up if you think I beat him. Keep your hand up if you blame the fans. <laughs> Blaming the fans for the state of your raps, that's a bit dumber. This is the guy I beat on FIFA who blames it on the type of grass and the kit color. <laughs> I heard, he wanted a, I heard he wanted an air conditioned remote. I heard he wanted an air conditioning remote. One that works from the hand. Because the second he feels the heat, he's going to turn on the fans. Which is ironic because I'm ginger and getting burned from this stand. Let's go. I seen this wash guy on TikTok chasing clout online, but you'd be lucky if you make it out alive. Cause this time I'm killing him. Simple as that. You won't be able to remember that they didn't react. I carved his name in a bullet. Now I'ma kill him with that. I got quill in the cat like an Indian hat. I got quill in my hand. I got quill in my hand. He's light as a feather, and he's always gonna snap when I write under pressure. <sighs> See, I could talk about how you stole deposits from the smaller leagues or when a racist rant on Twitter meant that you were forced to leave or fucked over a falling scene by charging those extortionate fees. Oh, I put the kettle on. Today, I'm bringing all the tea. <laughs> when you were world champ, you couldn't make this scene seem dumber. Like explaining racism to Tony D and telling him you don't see color. What happened to those tweets, brother? Soon as people called you out, Mr. Colorblind started seeing red and you deleted your account. Ooh. Look at him like, but, but I deleted all of the tweets. <laughs> You're forgetting I'm a freelancer, bro. I kept all the receipts. <laughs> no, no, no. URL turned me to one of them shooters. <laughs> that was one of your lines, bro. Then it gets real deal. You described URL as African Americans who like guns, but not him because he's the white one. We are guests. We are guests in this culture. So every tweet he did had me see, had me feeling sicker, saying black people like guns, but he's the one who likes to be the trigger. While you can walk away, delete your Twitter. For some, of the problem's even bigger. There's a difference between being colorblind and just refusing to see the picture. He was saying shit like, "It's not about race, though." It's never an honest statement. Don't like their privilege being checked, so discredit the topic blatant. Fuck you, Gaspar. Don't, like <laughs> Don't like their privilege. Don't like their privilege being checked, so discredit the topic blatant. Say they don't see color to try and bury a conversation, but got no problem seeing color when it's a negative connotation. Yeah. See, these days he's hiding those tweets, keeps it kind of low key, but still no showed and stole from our black owned and Irish owned leagues. I mean, look at him. Looking like the shit one who can't sing in every boy band made. <laughs> I heard that even Quill's bird flew saying avoid that plague. He'll screw the cash and use the cash to buy his boy champagne. They say money's the root of evil, who I bet you coined that phrase. Everything I rap about is all true and was your doing. Erd put the kettle on, third round as a storm brewing. <laughs> Once again, he has successfully defended the title. <laughs> the fans are happy, as you can see, he is literally floating on air. 
It's been a long time since his losing streak. He's proven he can out joke me. He out wrote me by using schemes, looking smoother than ever. Blonde hair and a suit that's cream. There's a gold statue in Bristol City Centre, saying UK's finest on a plaque, cause that's what he's proven to be. All of a sudden he's running to be hugging, press one, but he ain't moving scenes. He tries shouting, press, press, but no one can hear your useless screams. All of a sudden he's coming to a conclusion. It's not so confusion, it's not an illusion. Today's shit, guys, you forgot to tell me to wake him up. Stupid me, back in the room, prof. You've been in a lucid dream if you think you're beating me when the title ain't what it used to be. It was for the best known. I remember sensor, oh, Steph, Tom, C major, the pen, game, death, no, but sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Everybody left, bro. The prestige that it had from the previous chaps. Oh, this man robbed it. Back the fuck up. This man robbed it. I can't stick off for him. He had a map and a plan for it whilst everybody was outside. You were the inside man. You weren't even sat in the stands watching. We couldn't find him when the brand's flipping. Oh, you've been holding the fans hostage. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he cracked it! Got himself into a safe place! Then couldn't wait to get away! But you want today, I can bank on it! Oh, you see, he was getting fed outside! So now my hand's above my head, like. Oh, how are you giving these marked shots? Actually, you're also on trial for being an accomplice. That's not the reason that everybody has fucked off. Now it's only you two that care about the title. Let's keep it real. Uh, you captain the ship. You fell asleep at the wheel. Thought I was hot headed before. Boy, my face about to fucking melt. <laughs> You were quick to put down the sails. Oh, you wasn't brave at the helm. Guys, this ship's about to sink. And I can't scuba dive, and I ain't been training with Phelps. So why did I get on board, huh? I'm just taking the title, then I'm saving myself. Then I'll go up north, and I'ma claim me a belt. No, no, yeah. no! You would love it if I was to jump ship. If I'm right, I'm going down. I'm in throwing water out the buckets. He's the guy in Titanic. They're like women and children first. And he's like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Opportunity, a beacon of unity to heal our community and return this culture to the scene that it used to be. Oh, you really sold us a battle. You really sold us a story of battle raps, rags to riches, and how you're gonna adapt the system. Meanwhile, Premier battles are broken away. And what's your plans to bridge it? In fact, can you fix it? You're supposed to expand the business, but you debranded the image. It used to have a family spirit. What about the decline in the analytics and the tickets? Fans are missing. You are happy bragging about. <laughs> Story of battle raps, rags to riches, and how you're gonna adapt the system. Meanwhile, Premier battles are broken away. What's your plans to bridge it? In fact, can you fix it? You're supposed to expand the business, but you debranded the image. It used to have a family spirit. What about the decline in the analytics and the tickets? Fans are missing, boy. You're happy bragging about the title, but you've abandoned all the baggage with it. Look, I'm just here to give you a hand. You're already at your limit. See, I'm a champion without the title, and that's the difference. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been performing for Don't Flop for 10 years. 10 years now, guys, and I'm still feeling hella strong. I ain't going anywhere. I'm on the catalog. Yes, let's go. He just said that I'm that dickhead on the Titanic, bro. Right now, you look like you need a life jacket. <laughs> Let's go, bro. I'm walking into the crowd. That's an embarrassing hobby. I should be crowd surfing. That's the only way you're catching a body. Let's go. See, you're such a generic lad. I bet your basic life could be narrated by David Attenborough. You look like the default face on every old game's creator character. I just see the basic lad in you. Looking like Jamie Lannister got a buzz cut and fucked up at a rave in Malia. <laughs> Generic Donnie. Generic hobbies. Generic face. Generic, Generic body. <laughs> Motherfucker, you look like everybody. <laughs> I bet you recognize less celebrities from hip hop than you do from porn. <laughs> You're an I beef a boat party in human form. <laughs> you ain't changed since your days wearing uniform, plus you perpetually smell like a student dorm. There's a difference between there's a difference between a lynx can and shower. 
He turns up to wedding straight from Paddy Power in baggy trousers with bags of powder. We did this early so he could make it to happy hour for his apple sour. <laughs> Wanna talk about me? You are the death of this scene, not the rep that it needs. You bragged to newcomers about trips you made in 2015. <laughs> you still bragging about them battles to force respect on your name? You can jet off to Spain, cross the tectonic plates. The fact you travel ain't the hassle. You have the best holidays. The problem is the bars get left on the plane. <laughs> He's that kid, messes up the kitchen, trying to blend chocolate cake. He says he went to cook, then came back with egg on his face. You told lazy new battlers are the reason that the scene's dead. Bro, new battlers are the reason there's a step. It's the reason there's a scene left. You were right place at the right time. You'll never get the views back. These new cats, they gotta do that with half of the platform that you had. He says they're the problem with battle rap, but you lost stock with the average fan. He giving out backhanded compliments and getting all of his compliments handed back. Yeah. See, the reason he hates him is because his tear has dropped, so he fears his spot. Like when he judged Georgie Roots being Slester. When he clearly lost, fast forward, he's complaining because his battle's fallen through. And who's the person you were meant to battle? Georgie Roots. Because your nepotism fucked over a newcomer, leaving him winless. And karma came along, started deleting your fixtures. Plus, he's famous for ducking. He's never seeking forgiveness, but soon as it was a Roots maneuver, he needed a witness. <laughs> All right, maybe some of this crowd's a little young for Roots Maneuver. <laughs> but you're definitely too old for that impression of a hula hooper. <laughs> Whining for three years on podcasts about the fact he lost to me, like, Kraft keeps tweeting that he beat me, and that shit just really bothers me. But see, this is the bit where you fell to the pit where the middlemen dwell. Or you stick to the scripts of typical bigoted idiot women repel? Well, I'm switching the rhythm to give them a difference. You stick in a similar realm. A magician exhibiting wizardly tricks to a flick of a wish in a well. You got lyrics that sit on the shelf. I paint pictures that's vivid as well. And each image is given in visions of living in prison with sinners in hell. Still, I can't picture him winning the bell. That's like picturing pretty Patel. Seeing an immigrant kid on a dinghy to Britain and swimming to give him some hell. Yo, see, <laughs> Quilt. Uh. <laughs> see, back then, you never got the shot. I guess times move on. But I still took you after shuffle like an iTunes song. Yeah, I could, I could stay champ for 10 years if the line grew long and you wouldn't put it past me like a prime booth fun. So the new, yeah, so the new slogans are ring the ambulance up and put the kettle on. Because I just bought a bag for this mug. Time. Let's go! First one I'm calling a draw, second round I give to Kraft. Third round I give to Quill, and I give it to Quill by a bigger margin than I gave Kraft a second, just because Quill went ham in the third round. All the free that I was doing hit, everything worked out and it was fucking on fire. And then Kraft, he didn't have the best third round in my opinion. He had some funny bars, he had some good flips at the beginning, but he didn't really hit off and he had a tiny little stumble here and there, which you have to take into account in these battles. Quill had a stumble in the second, Kraft had a stumble in the third, but I'm gonna give it to Quill. It's like one all, but Quill's, the round that Quill won was more comprehensive than uh, the round that Kraft won. Quill. I'm a fucking battle rap nerd, I've been to so many events. Quill's first round might be one of my favourite rounds I've ever witnessed. I felt he did the, the bit with the guy in the crowds and the balaclava and the water over his head could have been quite gimmicky, but he executed it so well. He was so consistent with the quality and quantity of punches that it was just incredible to watch. So he white walks that round for me. I thought it was, uh, yeah, I gave it 2-1 to Quill, so yeah, and the new champion for me. Yo, it's Kingsley Thunder, AK. I poke four in your ribs and I close doors in your hips. Shout out No Mind Collective. Just Judge Quill vs. Crafty. Classic battle. One of the best battles I've seen live. Um, I won't do it too long. No one knows who I am on this league. So, um, first round, closest round of the battle. I'm giving that round to Quill. It was it was hard to call, but like, yeah, I gave, I gave that one to Quill. Second round, I gave that one to Crafty. It was solid performance from Quill but he had a little stumble, Crafty had a rebuttal, that was the sort of the final moments because it was it was freaking peak 
repeat battle rap from both of them for the whole battle. So yeah, came down to the third round. Um, Quill's third round, man. One of the best rounds I've ever seen live. I think it would have been hard for anyone to beat that. Taking nothing away from Crafty, but I'm giving that one to Quill, so I'm giving it to Quill 2 1. Sick battle, classic battle. Right, yeah, yeah. So, uh, judging the title match between Crafty and Quill, and it was so close, right? Like a pubes width between them. So, I'm refusing to judge. No, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. Right, okay, so, so, right. But first round, first round in my mind is the closest, right? There was so little to choose between them, but I'm saying Quill just, just took round one, right? Crafty pretty convincingly took round two, right? And then Quill just steamrolled round three. That is the way I see it. You know, I am short-sighted, but you know, it's the way I see it. I'm saying Quill takes it 2-1, all right? Sean Cray just watched uh, Crafty against Quill. Um, was very tight, first, second. I never really judged it round by round, I must say. Um, I just felt like at the end of the first two rounds, it was kind of dead level. Going into the third, I was kind of like, you know, need to start judging now. <laughs> And basically, getting to that third round, Quill really was important to show in that third round. He took it very clearly. Um, seriously, round wise, I, I would probably say Quill got the first, very close. Second, Quill, uh, second, Crafty, maybe just about edged it. Overall, if I'm being honest, I think, I think Quill won it. And, uh, we're back with a judge's decision. They all actually unanimously gave it 2-1 to the new champion, Quill. Make yeah! some noise! Yo, new champion, Quill. Respect, man. Thank you, man. Up, man. Appreciate Fuck it, man. Really. Thank you. No, I'm happy now. It was a good battle, man. A great battle. It gave me my best battle I've had. Uh, I, honestly, after the battle, I couldn't call it. Genuinely, I hate when people say that because I do, but that's genuinely, I didn't know how it was going to go. I wasn't sure when it, which way they'd give it either. I was really unsure. I um, genuinely, so. I, in my opinion, I 100% took the third, and I just like, I need to take either the first or the second. And yeah. in my opinion, the first and second were both really close. Yes. Um, I think so I took the first and you took the third. Like, that's why. So I'm looking at the second, like, Neither of us got massive reaction because the kind of angles and bars we were doing, that crowd, I think they were kind of more there for the jokes. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So, like, on camera, like, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, what Kraft think, definitely got more uh, of the crowd reaction. He had more of the people mm. reacting to the bars, more. I was kind of like, okay, onto my next bar, which is good. I was able to keep it and keep it. But the round you got the big reaction. I was under pressure like crazy. I don't even know what big me. reaction I got. I can't honestly, I don't even Just know. Just start angling it. about me as champ. But it worked well. I'm going to keep it 100. Like, I probably would have given up the title even if I won. I just feel like it's time It's time for a change. I'm kind of, I was at a point where I can't really keep doing this with what I've got going on. I think you need to draw out Gemini and Gemini needs to come and battle you for the title. That's what I think. Something like that needs to happen now. Congratulations to Quill. Um, I wish you all the best. Thank you bro, I wish you all the best. I'm not fitting in this job. <laughs> Editing terms and for writers, and all genres, they say kill your darlings, right? So you have to take out your best lines sometimes to, to serve whether it's completing your book or whatever it is, to make the narrative work. And Battle Rap's the same. A title match is, an, is a narrative. It's, it's, it's a piece of art in a different way. And um, I take out a lot of my favorite stuff, the way I like writing, the kind of bars I write. And so yeah, maybe to do a battle where I'm just dropping shit. It doesn't I matter, because like, it doesn't matter who wins. Exactly, and like just to have fun like and for the opponent, to have mutual respect. That could be really cool, but you know... I would love to see that, man. Thank you, Fucking man. love to see that. And you know, for, for now, I'm just going to hang tight. If the right thing comes up, I never say never. It feels like I'm cool to end there, bro, because there's the old wrestling analogy, right? You go out on your back, you know, and going out on a loss is, is probably the best thing in terms of, you know, the, the next person up. Now, something a little different. At the weekend, Danny competed in the UK Rap Battle Championships in Bristol. He was defending his title from 2020, but clinched second place. Yes, sir. Danny's stage name is Craft D, and he became active on the Bristol battle rap scene eight years ago. How big is the scene in Bristol? How popular is this? So the hip hop scene's been massive in Bristol for a while. The poetry and spoken word scene I'm also involved in is really popular. And battle rap really is a hybrid of poetry, rap, um, theater, comedy, 
like there's so many things that come into it so it made sense the battle scene would start getting bigger as well we can't let you go without hearing <laughs> some of your work and you've been preparing something about us haven't you yeah i wrote a little something i was asked to do a 20 second thing about the studio so i've got something okay. go ahead can't wait to hear it they asked me to rap a little something for the studio. This ain't the type of studio I'd usually make my music though. No, it's the news, you know, it's ITV. Plus the kids are watching too, so keep it quite PG. You've only got 20 seconds, so don't flop it. I said, give me 21 seconds. You know the bars are so solid. UK battle rap representing the scene. A pleasure getting to be with Seven, Ellie, Louise, the best presenters I've seen. Better than the lot of them. This ain't a real rap battle. I'm giving you compliments. Thank you. That wow. was absolutely wow. amazing. amazing. Thank you so much, amazing. Johnny. It was a good battle. I'm very self-critical. There's stuff I could have done a lot better. Like my third, I could have performed it a lot better. But I prepped a little later for this one than usual. So I was really happy. Yeah. Especially like the third round coming into the second. You were so funny in the third round, man. I, I thought you, you stepped up the jokes, bro. And that's one Thank thing you, I noticed. Man. Like, because like, you do a lot of breaking people down. Like the second round, which you did with the Twitter stuff yeah. uh, on him and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, the third round, you went jokes. Just And it was really, really funny, actually. Yeah. Thanks, man. Nah, yeah, I, I always want to do a little bit of everything, I think, for especially an audience where there's a lot of casual people who haven't come before. You've yeah. got to be funny. I like, agree with that. a little bit of Expe it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, Quill was sick. Like, his third round put a lot of pressure on me. And like, probably the strength round. of that round is what I think got him the decision. When I watch it back, I don't know how I feel. When I, when I just finished it, I thought I'd taken two of the rounds. Right. But that his third round was, like, so energetic and weird and left field that that might take it for him. More than any other battle you've battled yet, in your head you're, you're, you, not, I don't want to say fear, but you feel like I can beat you more than any battle. No, I actually feel like now I can beat you more than I used to. Ooh. Uh, yeah, you're a lot better than you used to, but I'm way better than I used to be. I think I'm better in the ring now than I was before. My performance will yam you up, lad. <laughs> I feel like my composure in the ring is different to yours. I'm not even going to argue with you. My third round's better than any round you've ever done and, or, and will do. All right, well, when this comes out, we can put up a poll and let the fans answer that because you're on crack. Clever yeah, up, clever up, clever it up. We either get another one next Jeez. year or it's going to be Jeremy. That's really nice, though. Hopefully, that is hard. Yeah, kind of, yeah, does that make nice. you a bit hungry? Does it make you want to... Yeah, I want all these things. Yeah, I want these. these. I was mad that's I didn't it. get none it's of them. It's actually the sharp. You've done a good job here, son. I like this. Thanks really a lot, nice. Mate. I appreciate it. I display different skills that you don't display. Yeah, rapping is my skill. And I rap as well. I rap better. In certain areas, in certain areas. And I rap better than most people in this city. Definitely. That's why we're going for the title match and it'll be one of the biggest Rap. ones in years because we are the best. 100% the best performer in the UK, hands down, that's not debatable. I'm speaking Tell me. You're the best performer 100%. 100%. Whatever you want to say, yeah? I thought this was just a roll-up. Yeah. <laughs>